It's Thursday the 23rd of May and this afternoon here in Bakewell the Chief Executive of the Peak District National Park Authority, Phil Mulligan, hosted a public meeting where we the people were invited to ask questions. So in this video you will see the questions which I asked and also get an inkling of the extent to which the Peak District National Park is determined not to listen and to cover up all of the ways in which it is violating the common law rights of the people and specifically the owners of the land within the National Park. Can I ask a question, a series of questions? Um, so this is very specific to land which I own. My name is Rachel Elmore Love. I'm one of the co-owners of 53 acres of established farmland at Crestbrook Dale, which has a history of agricultural and mining use over many centuries. So I want to, my first question, Phil, are you aware of the ecological devastation which was caused to the land which I co-own under your direction? Yeah, I, I do say um, I do say that we don't talk about specific planning cases. Well, this feels very orders. important because um, you've talked a lot about uh, it's, protecting the environment, yeah, and this is um, a picture of what happened. And I've got a copy. You might want to have a look at and pass around. I know about the case, Rachel. It's just oh, these see. these drop-in surgeries and meet the CEO. They're specifically badged as not talking know, about specific cases. I know that cases. you want this to be a, a PR thing for the Peak Park and for you, but I want to bring this to the attention because this goes, I'm this flies in the a, face. I'm very happy to have an individual meeting with you. It's no, this flies in the face right of everything that you've this. said about protecting this precious park because your bulldoz bulldozers, which you sent in to that land, have created massive ecological devastation. Now, if we had done that, I have absolutely no doubt that you would be issuing legal action against us for ecological devastation. So if you're recording this, Rachel, that's fine, but I just I would yeah. say that I don't agree with your account of what's happened there. Okay, and what so I the would say, thing, if I'm allowed to say, yeah. what I would say is that our officers acted entirely lawfully and they no, acted they did not, which is my next they, thing. They acted this is the Freedom of a, Information Act They acted against request. a planning brief. I want you to I, I had, to you had a chance to speak, and it's this is a public meeting and it's my chance to speak. So I did a Freedom of Information it's request. It's a public meeting, it's not a meeting to talk about individual yeah, planning but cases. But this is important, this clear. is really important principles. I did a Freedom of Information Act request and I obtained the Enforcement Notice Report. And this is an extract from it, Human Rights Issues. Have the owners had a fair trial? No. Disrupting someone's peaceful enjoyment of their possessions? Yes. I'm you afraid, have violated afraid, the Rachel, owner's I'm common afraid, law Rachel, rights. This was all done in accordance with, with policy. It's it was, unlawful. It, it was, Make well, sure you're discussing well, personal lawyer. things that we are not interested in. This, this is, is a generic a meeting yeah. about issues yeah, around the peace park, not a not generic generic particular points. issue. Well, these That's these a generic point. Yeah. And I, you had your right to speak, and it's now my turn. In to the speak. spirit of this meeting, there is it's a two-hour slot. I've been very quiet. I've allowed everyone else to ask their questions. Well, I haven't asked mine yet. Okay, all right. Well, when that. I finish, then there'll be plenty of time. It was made perfectly clear that if you would like a one-to-one surgery, and one is available. Absolutely. This, these are generic issues which affect the whole of the peak park. You expressed So the generic concern. issue I would highlight, Rachel, is our responsibility as a planning authority to take action against unlawful development. And but that's you, exactly what we've done. You have acted unlawfully. It actually says in your report that you have violated the common law you, rights of the owners of this land. Do you want to have yes. a look at it? No, I absolutely do not. No, absolutely do not. I'm sorry, we're going to leave. I'm really yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm disappointed because I want to flip to her. Also. Yes, me too, but um, the domination of this what, is ridiculous. What, what, don't blame me, blame the people who of are course. walking out no, because they don't want to hear. Because, because it's, it's, because it's the people that are the problem, isn't it? It's the people that are the problem. I don't agree. Thank the you. park I is really owned by the people. The people are not the problem. The people are not the problem.
The problem is the straitjacket that has been placed over this land, which has turned it into a museum. And that is the word on the street. That is what you hear from everyone, that the Peak Park Authority, Authority is corrupt and that they have turned the whole of this region into a museum. The final thing I want to show to you is this is the response of your senior lawyer, Joanna Bunting, when she was very specifically asked to uh, provide evidence that all interest party, interested parties had been notified of the enforcement action, to which she replied, I confirm that the landowners have been notified of the action to be taken by the authority, which is an untruthful statement. So you're very welcome which is to take that up with the authority this. if you feel... I have taken it up by the authority and, 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 and your chairman has refused to even look at it. So it will be going to the ombudsman. I don't think that's the case. He has. I have it in writing. He has closed the file and well, the only option we now have it. left is to take it to the ombudsman and the solicitor's regulation well, authority and beyond to that, that to the Supreme Court. And I will be doing that. But my final question to you is... Um, how do you propose to remedy the situation, the criminal damage to our property and the unlawful theft of the property which I co-own? Because well, you I are disagree. Holding there has been any cross criminal damage. And if you're referring to your TP, we have a crime reference. If you're referring number. to your TP, no, have a crime reference number doesn't indicate a crime has we taken place. We have a crime place. reference that number, means you've reported something and as you a crime. are the criminal in this case so because you have. Disagree that any crime has taken place. Criminal and if you damage want to, and theft of our if property. Listen, Rachel. We have made a number of um, attempts to. We have let you know that you can come and pick up your property. We're storing it it's safely. It's stolen property, and it's we not have stolen stated property. our requirement it's for you to reinstate it's there and for to you return to collect. The property. And I inquired this week to whether we were still storing it on your behalf, and we are. So please come along to the actual depot. I require you to reinstate the property, property, to return it to the land, and to resurrect that the property. I've heard what you want. I've gone through the is correct that going to legal happen? process. You have not. This I'm is unlawful. Your actions are unlawful. I have given you evidence. So how do you propose to remedy the situation? Well, you just said you don't accept something. I don't accept there's anything that needs to be remedied. And you've really? said you will go to the ombudsman and take your so complaint you forward need, through that. So you been presented with that evidence. Were you aware of that enforcement notice report which stated very specifically I, that our common law rights have been violated? I think, I think you are entitled to take this forward in whatever way you want. You've chosen to do it at a public meeting inappropriately, having because been advised this was not the forum. If you, this you, is a cover you've mentioned cover-up and on. corruption. If you would like yes. to take those allegations that are rather serious forward, then you're absolutely welcome to do that. They're serious and they're valid. So please take them this forward the through the appropriate you, means. You are the chief executive. You're a public servant. And I'm you confident have that my there. officers. I'm confident that my officers have done uh, the right thing. They've, they've you acted have against there a, that they they've have acted not. against an unauthorized development. You have you have evidence there that they have acted unlawfully in from your own authority. You've got evidence there, and you're not prepared to do anything about it. Seriously. I am prepared to. Uh, respond to whatever you want to take through. If you want to make an allegation of corruption or whatever else you're talking about, you're welcome to do that. You're welcome to go to the ombudsman and I'll respond to criminal whatever they damage, find. Theft, so if corruption. it's criminal damage, you need to go to the police and report it as a crime. We have. We have okay. a crime reference. And I have not been contacted by the police in relation to that. Well, they so have, maybe you want to take that up with the police. Well, authority. they have said they have said to us that we need to exhaust all of the public avenues, but that is our backstop option to involve the police because once those op the, for those options are exhausted if they're not successful then we return right. to the so you, so you know action. the process you need to go through this isn't the process to go through well unfortunately when when the authorities close down and are refusing to disclose information and refusing to listen to the if owners that's what you of believe, land, you can put that in your no, complaint what against the authority, do we have, but which will be investigated and For the people to actually come to a public meeting and to actually ask you directly to use this opportunity, because as far as I can see, that Peak Park has closed down on this situation because you don't want to admit that you have acted unlawfully, you've caused us criminal damage, you have stolen our property, and you have not acted to redress it. 
And if you can look at that devastation, at those pictures of devastation, and you can put your hand on your heart and say, this was justified and in the, in the public interest or the national park interest, I mean, you should resign from your position, to be quite frank, because that is shocking what happened. It was loveless, it was heartless, it was absolute devastation to land which was growing beautifully. It's been, bulldozers were sent in and completely destroyed it. Absolutely outrageous. And yet you're still happy to say, yeah, we did everything that we should have done. Rachel, you're entitled, to, you're, you're entitled to your opinion, you said, but you've expressed it. I disagree with a lot of what you've said. And I don't think we'll resolve that matter here. Yeah. You know the avenues you need to go through to try and get these points resolved if you're not satisfied. This is an you, avenue and I've come to speak to you directly. And you've done that and you've this. expressed clearly what you feel. Yeah, and you've basically stated that it's none of, it's none of your concern and there's not a problem. And that kind of says everything, kind of flies, destroys everything that, that you've said, said in this, this meeting. This is the appropriate place to take your issues forward. It's the absolute appropriate place. It's a no, public it's meeting. No, it's not. It is not. It's a completely appropriate. No, it's, it's a public There's a meeting. Process you can go through it's a public notes. meeting. Ask questions. And I have come here to ask questions. Uh, you know, not airy fairy questions. Well. Yeah, I so am going through the due else. process, but the due process doesn't work. Hence why, left here, if, the, if the if the due process, Rachel, is I'm not going to be shamed right? by you. Me. I'm not going to be me. shamed by you. I have a right as a member of the public to come and ask a public servant questions about devastation to the land, which fly in the face of all of this talk about protecting the Peak Park and protecting it for the people and so for the I don't environment. Agree. There has been devastation of the land. There was Take a look there at was the pictures. unauthorized development that my office has professionally removed. The, that what what that we is, have done, everything that happened. we have done on that land has been well within as our lawful commission. rights as, uh, within our lawful as rights as commission. landowners. We are within our lawful as rights as landowners. There was development. We are was not within our lawful it is my rights duty to as take landowners against unauthorized development as the planning authority. So we do I'm not recognize your authority. We operate under the Magna Carta which has means that every person it's not not a laughing matter. It is, can the I, Magna can I have Carta time to speak to cannot myself, be please, on overridden. My issue by any person. You're laughing at me I'm and you're not permitting you. me to complete I'm, what I'm, I'm saying. Because I'm trying to, I want some time to film myself. Yes, and you've still got an hour left and I'm about to, to leave. I have to a bus in half an hour. Okay, so, so you've like got half an hour and I've, okay, got, I've had 10 I'll minutes stop. and yeah. I haven't been allowed to complete because of interruptions. I've honoured everyone else at this meeting mm. and, and I waited till everyone else had spoken. I, d I wasn't aware that you okay. wanted Rachel, to ask the question. Are there any question. points you'd like to make or can we move on to other people in the meeting? meeting who still want to ask questions. Well, I just wanted to end with that final point that the Magna Carta cannot be overridden by any legislation. Common law rights cannot be overridden by any authority, by any legislation. We have been well within our lawful rights. Everything that we've done on that land has been within our lawful rights and you have violated them. And that's why I've come here today with the evidence which has been from your own authority it admits in there that you have violated our common law rights and yet you still don't think that any part of this is serious. To me, I'm shocked. I'm shocked that you don't even want to discuss it and everyone's like, la, 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 wait till she goes away. There is due process to go through. If you have a complaint against the authority, which it sounds like you do, there is a complaint process to go through. I'm well aware of that, but the complaint process is not fit for purpose. Because you well, have to, who do, who do you complain to? You have to complain to the Peak Park. Well, and your chairman, Ken Smith, Ken, Ken Smith, Ken, Ken, Smith, Ken Smith. Smith, he has basically like, la, 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 go away. He is not acting in his responsibility as a public servant to oversee the authority and to right the wrongs. That is your view, Rachel, and you're welcome to it and you've expressed it in a public it's meeting. It's in that in evidence. So if, if that's okay, I think we'll move on now to other issues that people want to raise. Okay, fair enough. It's good to have this, uh, this evidence that you're not prepared to take it seriously or take any action. 
So there we go, folks. Phil Mulligan refusing to take responsibility, refusing to listen, refusing to admit that his staff may have made a mistake. So our only option now is to keep progressing through the system to the Ombudsman, also to the Solicitors Regulation Authority and Legal Ombudsman in the case of Joanna Bunting, who did act unlawfully and that is evidenced that she did not follow even the guidelines which the Peak Park is supposed to work under. So what can we do but keep progressing this and keep making life difficult for the Peak District National Park Authority who are not acting as public servants and who are violating the common law rights of the landowners within the Peak Park.